We've been in business six years here at the farm. And what got me started was passion. A harvest team goes out into the field. We hose down everything that comes off the field from cantaloupe to eggplant to cherry tomatoes. Right now, we're under the table, we're off the books, we are as clean as we can be. I mean, we're outdoors. Uh, you've got, to be honest with you, you've got air and wind and dust and flies and birds and um, stuff flying through here. This shed, though, it is not considered safe in the industry. I don't necessarily believe that that's a real issue. If there's a bug in it, we wash it off. If there's a slug on it, we pull it off. If there's um, a piece of a metal in it, we're still small enough that we can actually see those things going on. Sometimes they're contaminated in the seeds or like as they're growing, the seeds are contaminated from the source and then that, you know, kind of makes its way through the food chain. And then other times it can be contaminated either in like the picking process or the washing process. I mean, I sort of feel like outbreaks can happen, you know, anywhere. Sometimes it's just a matter of having some water that was contaminated. You know, if you have the bad luck of getting one crop of contaminated seeds, you're, you know, it doesn't matter whether you're large or small, it's going to be an outbreak. What we've done in Phoenix is pretty amazing. We've energized the local food movement. The chefs have demanded that they want better, fresher, local, organic product. I have great relationships with our farmers. I've been dealing with some of my people for, you know, as long as they've been in business. He's one of those people that I had to win the confidence that I could do it. I was the wild card. I think that's changed a lot. Welcome to Pani Bianco. Like seeing how to source things and understand the seasons and understands our, our demographic, how to get something to table, um, whether we go pick it up at the farmer's market or our farmers come, uh, understanding how to buy. Robbie, hey. arugula. So now you don't have to panic. What we are in is in the relationship business. You know, we're in relationships with our customers, we're in relationships with our farmers. With all due respect to our federal government, um, they might be the last people that I would look for to be the, my parameters of how I feed myself or my customers. I, I'd be more confident in my farmers than, than something that came with a big sticker on it. For me. How you make small farms accountable and how you make large farms accountable can't be the same. Um, it's a lot of work. I mean, small farms, you have to be everything. And it takes a certain spirit and a certain type of person to be able to do that.